This tutorial demonstrates how to use the selection tools, how to filter by location or condition, how to combine sets, and how to compute statistics with Maptitude. If the selection toolbar is not visible, click this button or choose Selection Toolbar. Use the selection tools to select features directly on the map. The tools will select features in the working layer chosen in the drop down list on the standard toolbar, in this case, the customer layer. Use the Select by Pointing tool to select features one at a time. Simply click on the features you want to select. As you click on features, Maptitude adds them to the selection set, highlights them on the map, and highlights them in any open data views. Click again with the Select by Pointing tool to deselect a feature. You can choose to compute a running total for a field of your choice. For example, by choosing the Sales field, you can see the total sales for all customers that you select. This time I'll use the Select by Rectangle tool to select several features at once. Notice that I selected 20 customers with a total sales of $233,000. Note that if you do not see a running total field on the Selection toolbar, click the Options button and check the Show Running Total Field box. You can also click in the Selection Set column of a data view to add or remove features. Notice that the features are also highlighted on the map and the selection toolbar updates the number of records and total sales value. Click the Clear Selection button to remove all features from a selection set. I'm going to make the map the active window again and use Select by Circle tool to select all features within a particular radius. You can either click and drag on the map or click on the map, enter a radius and click OK. Again, the number of selected records and total sales value are updated in the Selection Toolbar. You can also select features based on the proximity to other features. For example, you may want to find all of the customers within 10 kilometers of all of the warehouses. You could do this with the Select by Circle tool and click on every warehouse, or simply choose Selection, Select by Location. Choose the layer on which to base the selection, in this case the warehouse layer, and a location method and distance. Maptitude selects the customers and highlights them on the map and in the data view. You can also select features whose values meet a condition. For example, you could select only the customers whose status is active, or you could select the customers whose sales is greater than $10,000. Choose Selection, Select by Condition, or click this button on the Selection toolbar. Type a condition, or use the Condition Builder to help you create the condition. For example, I'll use the Condition Builder and choose Status equals Active and Sales is greater than, and I'll type 10,000 here. I'll also name this set High Volume Active. When I click OK, Maptitude filters the customers that meet the condition and highlights them in a new selection set on the map and in the data view. You can copy, combine, intersect, and transpose selection sets. Choose Selection, Combine Selection. For example, you can make a new selection set of the high volume customers who are also within 10 kilometers of a warehouse by choosing Choosing Features in Both and clicking OK. Now you can see the customers that are within 10 kilometers are in red, customers with sales over $10,000 are in green, and customers that are within 10 kilometers and have sales over $10,000 are in blue. You can control which sets to display on the map. Click the Selection Settings button to display the Selection Sets dialog box, where you can manage all of the selection sets in the map. You can change the style of a selection set, the labels used, and the auto scale settings. You can also turn on and off selection sets with the status button. For example, by changing the status of the layer and these other two sets to invisible, only the combined selection set will be visible on the map. Note you can also change the style, label, and visibility settings with the display manager as well. Similarly, you can choose a selection set to display in a data view. When the data view is the active window, the drop down list on the standard toolbar lists all of the selection sets in the layer. 
The status bar at the bottom shows that there are 184 records in this particular selection set. Click the Compute Statistics button to have Maptitude calculate summary statistics about the features displayed in a data view. Again, here you can see that there are 184 customers in this set whose total sales equal $2.8 million for an average of $15,314 per customer. By computing statistics for different sets, you can compare different groups of customers. Finally, let's take one more look at the selection tools and some additional useful options when working with area layers. Let me hide the customer and warehouse layers and turn on the postal code layer. When using the area, rectangle, and shape tools, you can choose whether to select areas that are entirely or partially within the area you define. When I choose the enclosed option here, only postal codes that are entirely within the shape that I draw will be added to the selection set. For example, if I use the Select by Circle tool and drag a circle, only those postal codes that were entirely within the circle are selected and added to the set. You can also choose whether to allow area features to be in more than one set. For example, choose this option to remove features from any other sets when you're creating a new one. Now, if I create a new selection set and add records to it that include some of the other records, they'll be removed from the first set. Alternatively, I can exclude features that are already selected. Again, I'll click the Options button, and this time I'll choose Do Not Select Features and click OK. Now, if I create a new set, and add records to it. None of the already selected features is in the new set. And that wraps up this tutorial on selection sets.